sidebar a little bit, but the sidebar could be split into more components. There's some clues here. Things with class names that begin with capital letters are things that I made into components. So <clears throat> let's just start going down the sidebar. User info. Seems like a good component. Let's make it new file, capital U user, capital I info, dot JS. That just has the username. It's gonna have the avatar eventually. I don't think it needs state. I don't know why it would. <coughs> so const, or sorry, import react from react. Const user info equals arrow function. That will just return some JSX. And we will export default user info. The JSX there, that would be this. The div with a class name of user info. Let's just rip that out right above the H1. Paste it in here. So we need the user prop, right? <coughs> Props.user, so we're gonna need some props. We need that style object. For right this second, I'm just gonna copy the one from sidebar. Uh, we don't need one nearly that complicated. For right this second, I'll just throw that in there so we can get rid of errors. All right, so we're not finished with this component, but that's enough for round one. Back in sidebar then, we can import it. Import user info from dot slash user info. And right here above the H1. And we needed a prop, right? We needed user. So user equals props dot user. It's still there, so we didn't break it. <coughs> but looking back at the uh, static project, user info.css. Here are the styles we had. We had some styles for the user info div itself, for the avatar, for this uh, user div right here, and for each link. And there's even a hover state for the link. Hmm, interesting. I think the avatar is probably gonna be a separate component in the long run. Uh, I'm gonna say this, this thing, this is supposed to be the sign out button. I say that's gonna be a separate component too. So let's just worry about styling user info and this little user block where the uh, username displays. So let's go for that. Don't need the sidebar style. Um, that padding there w is the one thing that's being applied to the div right now. I will leave that rule there. I'm not gonna call it that though. I'm gonna call it user info because children doesn't make any sense in this context. And let's see what we can do with it. Okay, I need margin bottom, display, and align items. So I'll throw those in there. And I want to style this user div, so I'll add that rule as well. I'll call it user. Just need that one little rule there. Use my multiple cursor trick, hold down alt, get rid of these semicolons, make them commas. I'll quote these values. I can use the alt trick there too. Highlight that, hold down alt, highlight the next one, highlight the next one, and then just hit the quote key. Surrounds them all in quotes. Then margin bottom needs to be camel cased, align items needs to be camel cased. Yes, margin bottom. Thank you. And then I just need to make sure I'm applying those rules. So styles.children becomes styles.userinfo. And this div right here is what the other rule is for. So style equals styles.user. I probably don't really need that class name on there. That was there for CSS, but now we're applying the CSS a different way. Okay, doesn't look a whole lot different, but doesn't look any worse. If we inspect this, 
I see that that's there. I see the flex one one rule is there. Uh, the div here has some style on it, so that seemed to work. Seems legit. So here's my user info component. I will throw that in Slack. Then we just need to repeat this. So add user info component. Questions about that? Yeah. Sure. All I changed there was importing it and replacing it here, but 